Okay, today I got another video for my EDC carry and we're going to be looking at the Beeberry EDC tool and uh, we're going to check this out in this video now. Okay, so the Beeberry multi-tool is a 10 and run multi-tool made of stainless steel and uh, it says there's a uh, mini EDC multi-tool 10 and run 420 stainless steel multi-tool keychain pocket knife for $11.99 free shipping here to Puerto Rico. Obviously shipping will depend on where you're located at where if you want to buy something like this there's a description there's your information and you can find it on eBay Amazon and maybe other online sites and uh, here is the device itself. The box is uh, kind of cool it's a uh, cheap and simple but it has one of those slidey slidey that you just open it up like that um, it has on the front here the information uh, Beeberry funny EDC tools which I think is a mistranslation or something because I don't think it's, it's a multi-tool it's supposed to be for survival it's funny um, also there's nothing that's comical on it because if it had like a Spongebob face or something I would say yeah it's funny but it's not um, EDC fun smart free which is also not free actually costs $11.99 so um, there's another thing that seems to be mis mistranslated and uh, over here on the back we have the information of what tools it includes so I'm gonna go over that real quick um, there's the pull down the safety lock to close the tool which it, it has and I'll show that the function that it includes is uh, number one is scissors number two is a can opener battle opener and a flat screwdriver number three is a stand and a rope cutter number four is a nail file and a Phillips screwdriver Number five is a blade. Number six is a SIM card ejector. And number seven is a key ring, which is, th those are not features. You know, that I'll, I'll show you that when I get to the tool. So let's go ahead and get into this. This will be very quick because it's a small tool. That's how it comes in. Get it out of there. That's about it. There's no more instructions or anything. So that's the size of the tool there. You can also put it outside my cell phone so you can see it's kind of a wide the cell phone see I put it wide side this is a Galaxy S7 Edge so here's the tool this is the lock it has the lock on both sides so you just have to pull that down on both sides to unlock the tools so let's go over this here real quickly and we have here the first tool has the seatbelt cutter there and it said it had another tool on it which was uh, over a stand and nail file blade I was gonna say so it says it has a bot or can opener here I don't think this is a can opener itself yeah it, it, it's not okay that's number three number three says it's a stand oh, okay I get it so that's a stand for your phone and since I have a case it doesn't work but that's the basic idea so it's a phone stand which I would never use break the screen if you just hit it or something and uh, the cutter here for the seat belts and you just pull both sides down that unlocks the tool the tool is locked you pull both sides down it goes down the next one you have to pull it from this way there we go there's the uh, bottle opener can opener multi whatever it has a lot of things here and a full uh, the screwdriver is on the tip here it's also could be used to pry stuff smaller stuff because it looks flimsy so if you use it for something too too stiff or too tough you're gonna break it but uh, the one thing that everybody's gonna use here would be the bottle opener which now I think I have like four different bottle openers right just like that um, yeah that's good for everybody right let's see number three here which is not number three because it's the other way around okay so this has the file on both sides so different this one is a crisscross and this one is straight line so the file and the Phillips screwdriver, it says it's a Phillips on the point there because it has like a little notch in there. But um, I don't know how well that would work with a Phillips screw. Maybe if you don't have anything else, um, that'll come in handy. I don't know. It might save you in a pinch, but I don't think it's a real good screwdriver. But who knows? You'd have to try it out. Next one here. One I like is the scissors because it's like that but then you just turn that over and it's spring-loaded <laughs> it just goes back there we go so little scissors here it does work we were out yesterday and she had a little string on her shirt and I just cut it off with that 
and I had fun with it. And she just told me, that, really, you're using that for a piece of string? And I'm, yeah, it's new. I want to try it out. So yeah, it works. So unlock it, press both sides. I go down, and the last one here is a knife. So that is a blade. It, it feels to be sharp. You want to touch it, don't you? And I have a piece of paper from my previous test here. We'll try it out on this. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm really surprised with it. So yeah, the blade is small. That's about a two inch blade. Um, it's uh, tipped off like a katana blade. That's why I like it. It looks like a sword. Blade, ninja blade. Uh, so it's cool. The blade is good. It's nice and sharp. It's supposed to be stainless steel, so I would cut a lemon for the coronitas with this one. So yeah, that is it there. This is the keyring loop, which is, that shouldn't be considered a feature, really. You, you need to have that to put it. It's supposed to be a keychain tool. So it's not a feature if you have a, a loop keychain, if it is a keychain tool. So yeah. They say it's a feature. And here, you see how I got that out? There we go. You pull that to the side, and you have a little piruli. And what that one does is a SIM card remover for your cell phone. So if you have a cell phone that you want to take the SIM card out for some reason, maybe you're playing a prank on somebody. I don't know. I don't use that anyway. Um, but yeah, it has it if you need it. So you just pull the key ring back with all that, put that in. That's about it. And that ends all the tools. The key ring moves around if you need to have it on one side or the other. And that is about it for the tool. I, I like the tool a lot. Yeah, you can check it out. And uh, the reason I got that, as I said at the beginning, it's an EDC tool. So what that'll do is, this is my bat belt. This is my belly band holster. And uh, to give you a bit more information on the holster, I got more videos. And, and there's a video for the holster itself. But I'm uh, getting ready. And... Uh, to be ready, to be safe, you have to be prepared. And that is where these, uh, this belly band comes into place. I have a whole lot of stuff in here. I'm not just carrying a gun or a clip or whatever. I, I did apply for a carry permit in Puerto Rico, and that's coming through in the next few months. So I have the space here for the gun when I get it. I'm going to get a pistol, possibly an MMP Shield 380 or, or an I. I don't know. I'm, I'm still undecided with that. Um, but I think I want to get something smaller because I want Betsy to also uh, go with me to range and fire and have fun with me and we could share that as well and train her in the usage of the gun. And I don't know, she doesn't really like guns, but maybe later in the future, who knows, and she may like so much to get involved with me and you may get one for her as well. But for now, I just wanted to know and, and to share that with me. So that's why I got all this and we want to be safe and we want to have our family to be safe. And uh, that means that we have to be prepared for any eventuality. And that means also to have a weapon to protect yourself and your family if you ever need it. That is where that comes in. So in here, I have a variety of stuff. Uh, when I started with the video, I only had one or two things. Right now, I have a multi-tool in here. I have the beeper here. I have here. It's a flashlight that I showed in a previous video. In here. I have a fire striker. So I got a small pepper spray in here. Okay, on this one, that's my vape, my Novo 2. If that's your fault. And over here, I have another beeper for the gate. And uh, there's a space here. You know why that is there? That is it. That's why that's there. So now I have my multi tool here. I have another set of multi-tools here. The whole things that I just showed you here, the beepers to go and come from my home. Um, I have this here because when I'm on the motorcycle, it's hard to have a bag and have all this stuff in the bag when I can just have this on. Since I'm gonna already use it as a holster, I might as well turn it into the bat belt and have everything here. And I also have a removal pouch, which has two spaces, so I can have more stuff in here. If I do wanna carry a clip at any point, I can put it here. Uh, but for now, I just have two spaces here. And this is one pocket that is supposed to be used for another weapon, maybe a cell phone or whatever. 
but I'm using it as I showed you for the multi-tool and another beeper. So that is it. That's what I wanted this tool. It all fits into the belt here. It's not too heavy. And as I said, I'm already going to carry it around. I'm going to have to put this in some place that doesn't come off. I just tested that and it came out. Oh yeah, I could do that. I could put it here. It, it'll go there and it shouldn't come off. Any, either way, unless I fall from the motorcycle, it's not going to turn around. So it's going to always be hopefully like that. So it's all in place. It's not heavy. I've been using this a lot and the belly band is very comfortable and I can use it in different positions. I can use it inside the pants. I can use it on top of the pants. I can use it a little bit higher, but I'm using it as a belly band uh, above the pants and uh, everything seems to be fine and I can reach everything when I need it. If I'm riding the motorcycle and I get home and I want to open the gate, I just have to press here and I press here and it opens the gate, which is really cool. I don't have to get it out of pocket or something. Press there, it opens up, that's it. The same for the other one here. Just press it, opens up, you don't have to look for it, which is very nice. So yeah, that is why I got this Beeberry multi-tool. And I think it's very cool. The material seems good. The construction seems okay. Um, she likes it, right? She likes it. She touched the blade. She always touches the blade. Uh, but uh, we think it's good. And we'll let you know later on maybe um, how everything here is going on because I'm obviously going to do a full EDC video later on. But for now, I just want to show you where I wanted to put the multi-tool in and how everything comes together. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Until the next video.